Uhu. Huh? Ah! Hey guys, this is Jim, and welcome to episode 78 of Ob's World, our modded, 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 modded Minecraft series. I hope you're well, guys. I uh, hope you've had a good couple of weeks. I don't think I made an episode last week. I was busy with the crazy kids last week. We were playing on a, on a new world, a different modded world, uh, and we were dying a lot because we had it on hard, and we had uh, Lycanites mobs. Yes, it's been updated to 112 ages ago, actually. And we had them all on hard, and so we died. A lot. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, I hope you had a good couple of weeks, guys. Um, for some reason, our... Oh, that's what it is. Uh, our storage crates here from Immersive Engineering, they've all um, they've all changed. So they've got this red on it. And I was going, what are they doing? What's wrong? Is that a bug or something? And then I just noticed it's a Christmas tree. Um, it's not even December yet. And yet we've got Christmas... <laughs> Christmas storage crates from Immersive Engineering. Aha! Uh -huh, this one's got green. This is one of the reinforced ones. There you go. Aha! Uh -huh, Christmas already. Oh boy. Where's it? Where's the time gone, guys? Where? Where has the year gone? Where? <laughs> All right. Thorncraft. Now I've done some stuff since last episode. Including uh, this here, uh, Essentia Smeltery. So basically, this guy will uh, smelt up, well, smelt, sort of smelt, burn items to get the uh, aspects out of them. So, like, if we look over the paper, we've got three leafy thing, two brains, two waters, and one wavy, swirly thing. <laughs> I can't remember what they all are. Um, if we put that in there, then this will. Burn them, burn them up. Essentially, it's like throwing it into the uh, the cauldron and then getting the uh, the aspects out of them, and they'll go into here, uh, into these limbics. We'll take those out. We don't want to waste all our paper. Uh, but the problem is these have to be em emptied manually, so we need to sort of do the older glass file thing and then put it over. Oops. Wrong one. I wanted to do that. There we go. <laughs> so it has to be manually moved at this stage, and once we've made some space, then more can go in. Um, uh, we do need have an upgrade for it to automatically go to the glass jars, but uh, haven't got that far ahead in the research yet. Uh, and as you can see, there's jars hanging from the ceiling, <clears throat> or nothing. <laughs> Yes, gradually be working on the base a bit, sort of working on the layout. Uh, yeah, these will actually eventually go all the way to the ceiling. And there's a little bit of ceiling around here. I've got the, the ceiling around the outside at the moment, just uh, not that bit in there. So doing bits of work on the base. Uh, what else have I done in terms of the Thorncraft stuff? Oh, we've got a sanity checker. Let's see how insane we are. Uh, so if you look on the top... Left. That's the left, isn't it? Top left, that is our sanity level. So there's a little bit of a purple down the bottom there, uh, with the brain above the, the bar there. Uh, so there you go. We're, we're not very insane yet. <laughs> and got some alumentum, which is really just furnace fuel, but good furnace fuel. More jars, labels for the jars. Uh, bits and pieces. So the Thorncraft takes a bit of work. You do have to do lots of uh, research and things. In fact... There is one thing that I didn't make that I have already researched. Where's the book? Bam. Automated crossbow. Ooh, yes, because after this, there's the arcane bore. So that's what we we're aiming for towards. There's some other research we have to do, but an automated crossbow. So let's whip this up uh, and give it a play. Okay. Ooh, I, oh, I moved. I moved. I moved our, uh, our thingies there. Uh, what are they called? <laughs> Thaumaturge's robes, uh, right here next to the arcane workbench, uh, so that I remember to get the V discount <laughs> when we do our stuff here. Alright, we have an automated crossbow, uh, and we have a dispenser, so if you put it on top of a dispenser, uh, it'll automatically refill itself with arrows. Now it is night, which is good. Uh, because we want baddies to test this out on, except I need some arrows. Oh, and I changed our armor, guys. I've got uh, crystallized obsidian armor from Cyclic. So these have sort of come with uh, enchantments pre-put on them. So Aqua Affinity Respiration 3, Fire Protection 4, Feather Falling 4, and Depth Strider 
three. Um, I thought I'd try some different armor instead of the bouncy boots because the bouncy boots can get a little bouncy. <laughs> funnily enough, uh, yeah. So I thought I'd uh, I'd try out these ones. Uh, we do have to get to our armor room, don't we? Oh. Uh, arrows. Do I have any uh, arrows? Oh. Okay, now we've got arrows, but we've also got some of these uh, other ones that we've picked up from things. Uh, Alright, so we need some baddies to try this on. Uh, let's see. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. Anything? Uh, there might be some things over this way. Somewhere. It's dark. It is dark, funnily enough, because, you know, night. Alright, if we put that there and we chuck all these arrows, well, in fact, let's take those two. Put those in there. Okay, grab our arcane bore. There. I'm not bore. Uh, ooh. Automated, automated crossbow is what it is. How about, how about I do this so we can see? <laughs> Aha! Aha! Very cool. Okay. Let's have a look inside. 40 arrows. Oh, so it's already picked them up. Ah, okay. I see. Very good. Uh, hello, baddies. Anyone? There's a zombie right... There, he must be under the ground. Oh, uh, what about? Oh, we 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 will. Um, <laughs> will we risk attracting the attention of a rocket creeper? You, hello. You, what's he? Oh, there he is. Whoop. Poop. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, right. Uh, hmm. Okay, I'm just shifting. Uh, Oop, let's turn that off. Oh, hang on. Oh, sorry guys, we've got night vision. I keep forgetting. There we go. All right. <laughs> uh, okay, so we don't need the dispenser, but we can just put the uh, crossbow down. Chuck the arrows in. Is he in range? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, he's missed. There he is. Good, 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 good. Lucky the water... Oh, oh, oh. He, he shot an arrow back at him too, didn't he? Oh, like that. Oh, so he's got some hearts there. I wonder if they regenerate. He got the spider. Um, oh, having a go at somebody else over there that oh, I didn't see, but something went. <laughs> didn't. Oh, a slime. Oh, good. You got that one. Doesn't hit it every shot though, does it? Maybe particularly for the slimes if they bounce and depending on the arc and things of where it aims to. Oh, you're going over there. Or oh, you're going for the creeper do. Ow! <laughs> hey, what about these guys? <laughs> hey. Ah. Uh. Oh, well, he's got the creeper at least. Ah, oh, here he comes. I wonder if he can hit us. Let's have a look. If we get in the way. Ah, uh, yes, he does. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's very cool though. Look at it. That's, that's really nice. Ah, oh, excellent. He went through a few arrows though. I think there was 40 and now 15. Ooh. You'd want to keep it stocked up, wouldn't you? Very cool. Okay, and I did unlock a, a couple of other gadgets. Uh, as well. Uh, this one is a uh, redstone relay, so it's kind of not really magic-y, um, but it has an in, in there says 13, so it's got to be a signal of at least level 13 for it to operate. So this one over here gives this a level of 12, so that's not enough to turn it on. Uh, but if we turn this lever on, it turns on to 14, which is enough to turn that on. And then the output, you can set the output power. So we've got it set to 4. So if we look at that, it says 4. Um, I'm looking over the top left there with um, the 1 probe. It tells you the redstone power. So that's redstone power 4. And we can make, click it on that to make it 5, 6, 7, and, and things like that. So a handy little redstone tool, which is... Um, Kind of really not Thorncraft related, but I guess some of the red, the, the Thorncraft stuff can be controlled by redstone, so maybe that's why it's uh, been added in, but it's quite useful. Uh, and these things are like, they these get redstone from, uh, from note blocks. So you can see there it's note one. Uh, so if we play note one, now <laughs> I'm not sure what mod adds this interface for the note block, but uh, yeah, so if we note one, Click on that. Oh, it's a bit hard to see. Uh, hang on. Can we get it so that we can see the thing? All right. Over the side here, we can see the redstone. If I click on note one, like that. But if I click on note three, no. Nah, five, zero, one. Okay. Uh, so this just gives an output of the redstone signal as soon as that's played, just like a pulse. Uh, this one does the same thing, except it toggles it on and off. So 
Let's see, can we get that angle right again? Uh, there we are. So we can see it's on at the moment. Click, turns off. On, off, on, off. And we can see the other one down the bottom there, just uh, giving a quick pulse whenever we play the note. So a couple of little handy redstone tools that kind of... Uh, not Thorma to blah, 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 magic y, <laughs> magic -y related, uh, but they are very cool, aren't they? So, very handy for some redstone contraptions. Okay, guys, Woot! Do you remember this? We did start this a while ago with the uh, anvil over there. Uh, I since I did actually go and end up catching two mobs, so a shadow shadow creature from Abyssal Craft and the Void Lich from. Uh, Voidcraft. That was it. <laughs> so these were the two that we were trying to get a couple of episodes ago. Well, quite a few episodes ago. And I did manage to get them. So what we can do now is actually build a factory. Uh, but it looks like we're going to have to get some blocks. So there's Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3, Tier 4. I don't know which one we're going to need for each of the mobs, whether they're going to require a minimum level. Uh, but we'll start with the Tier 1. So we're going to need a few blocks, so let's see, it tells us what we got, what we need. Tier 1 factory needs, 2 Tier 1 capstones, 14 factory bone casing, and 10 factory flesh casing. Aha, uh -huh. so if we have a look at the uh, uh, flesh casing, what's involved in that? Mm, that guy, I think? So yeah, so just rotten flesh and one of these, a factory base. Oh, which just comes from that, and we get the iron plate from that. Ah, okay. Or we could do it in the anvil uh, with the plate die, which we just do that. Okay. Well, I'll get a few things ready at least. Oh, guess what, though? <laughs> uh, we need the, this, this uh, where is it there? This Stygian iron ingots, which we, uh, we get from the iron ore, Stygian iron ore but which we craft, except we need iron ore to craft the Stygian iron ore. And of course I don't have any iron ore. I've smelted all my iron ore up. <sighs> Mining again! Oh, we've really got to get that arcane bore going, don't we? <laughs> uh, although that might be a good time to show you guys, I've got this Matic from Cyclic. Did we have this since last time? I don't think so. Uh, this is a very, very, very cool mining tool. Uh, so it just gets crafted with obsidian, quartz, and diamond. So not really expensive, uh, and I think you can enchant it and everything as well. Uh, but the tooltip there, 3x3 three three mining, equal parts shovel and pickaxe. So it's both a shovel and a pickaxe, and we can just go bam, 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 bam. So it is a very cool mining tool. If you're not really into mining or you're trying to get started you know, nice and quick, uh, this is a good way to go. Having said that, though, guys, having said that, uh, we had this last weekend on with the crazy kids, with Lycanites, mobs and everything, uh, but we just couldn't find diamonds. That's why we kept dying a lot, I think. Oh, iron, good, that's what we're after. <laughs> so uh, even if you can mine fast, doesn't necessarily help you in the early game, does it? <laughs> no netherrack. I'm out of netherrack as well. Really? <laughs> how how do you ever run out of netherrack? Gee. And this thing can mine netherrack super, super quick. Ooh, hang on. Uh, I'm out of torches, sorry. Uh, cobalt ore. Uh, bam. So it actually mines as fast as the, the actual block you're mining. Uh, so if you have like something that's really hard next to it, like obsidian or something, it does mine very quickly. Whew. <laughs> oh good, that gave some light. Is there any more cobalt around? Oh yeah, like Ardite, Gen tends to be pretty uh, pretty tough, so if we mine that, see how it's slow. But if we mine the block next to it, so this one will break as well, bam. Eee. <laughs> A little bit cheaty, maybe? Yeah, probably. Okay, four factory bases, and then if we get the... Oh, how many of these did we need? Oh, it was a lot, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, okay, ten flesh, fourteen bone, and two tier one capstones. Oh, I need some more iron plates, which needs uh, that guy on there. 
we chuck up the Stygian on there and go click, 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 click. Oop. Click, click. There we go. We got it all. Two. Hang on. Didn't I put more on there? Hmm. Hang on. Uh, one, two. Oh. Pick that one up. Ah, one, two. No, that one's gone too far, hasn't it? One, two. Huh. <laughs> Maybe we'll just do one at a time. Bam. Okay. There. Bam. Can I do more than one? One, two. One, two. Hmm. Maybe. Ah, that was the way to do it. Put a block there so that they don't go too far. And then we can do... Oop. Or not. <laughs> Ew, I was getting the capstones ready. I've got the other blocks. Tier 1 cap. Need a skelly skull for one. So we need two skelly skulls. A quartz shard. Oh, we can take care of that. What's that thing? Cap core. Ah. Oh, okay. So more goodies in the anvil. And now do we have any skelly skulls? Uh, we do. Good. Okay, managed to get the two caps. Now we also want to make the factory layout. Uh, one of those, which is pretty cheap. Okay, there we go. And we can use this to make the intern. Builds the factory for you. Ooh, do we want to have it build it for us? Yes, because we're lazy. <laughs> two string, two bone dispenser comparator. Okay, oops. Uh, there we go. The intern. Good. Pick up all the junk that I threw down. Alright, so if we build these guys over uh, here, about here, uh, click, click, mm, builds the factory for you. Uh, oh, uh, hang on. We need to factory put down that and then that. Guess what? We need uh, a factory heart, which needs Stygian iron block and a magma block. Guess what? I don't have. Yes. <laughs> uh, magma. There's no there. None there, is there? Oh, well, back to the nether for us. Ooh, I was almost out the door, and then I remembered you can craft magma blocks. Magma creams. Uh, do we have any magma creams dropped by mobs or something? Oh, look at that. Heaps. Oh, we only need one block anyway, so that's okay. Whew. <laughs> okay, here we go. Factory heart, and there we'll place. Uh, and then get the intern, which is, so I think it's set to a tier 1, so we can shift-click to set the tier. Tier 1. All right, there we go. So... Cannot replace block at X da 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 da. Uh, X my uh, Y sixty four. What's our Y right now? Sixty five. I'm looking underneath our little mini map there. I've got the coordinates. So, what if we instead uh, I've got an A block. Let's just do that and then put it uh, up one. So it might need to be up one there. Let's get rid of that. Okay now. Ooh. <laughs> Aha, there we go. Aha, block not inventory, factory upgrade base. Hmm, now I'm pretty sure I read the book about what blocks we needed, but let's have a look. Tears, 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 uh, tears. Okay, there are, depending on how you mean, blah, 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 okay. Uh, fact, tier 1 factory, factory for you, one needs two capstones, bone and flesh. So we've got all those. Uh, but we need the other things, by the sounds of it. So, what did it say we needed? Uh, mm, uh, oh, I found it. Uh, ooh, uh, uh, oh, look, it might not like starting again anyway. So, let's see. What, did it, what was the first thing it... Mm, oh, boy, I can't tell. Uh, oh, hang on, I'm using the wrong thing. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Factory upgrade base. Right, we'll get there in the end. Fortunately, it's sort of um, pretty descriptive, isn't it? Factory upgrade base, which is one of these, which is one of those, and a spider eye. Ah, cool. Okay, factory upgrade base. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll probably place it in the, this, and then it'll tell us we need something else. Click, click, click. 
factory upgrade base. Hang on, let's. How about we, instead of uh, looking at the words, we just look at the pictures. <laughs> so it's got factory upgrade base and that white one and that funny coloured thing there. So there's going to be at least two of the blues, which is the upgrade base, and two greys and that purpley yellowy greeny thing isn't there so look we can figure it out can't we <laughs> surely just by looking in good old jei we're going to need a tier one cap hang on we've got two of those oh that's good we've already covered those okay maybe just another uh, upgrade base which uh, sorry factory hang on which one do we make what is it what was it oh, i was one of those yeah okay good 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 yes uh that so another spider eye and this controller. Oh, oh, so we need the shard. Ah, okay. And a controller core, which is going to be that and that, which is one of them, which is all those. Ooh, ooh and it's not all dictionary. It's all vanilla dies. Oh, dear. Fortunately, I have a die chest, so we might, we might be close for what we need uh, for that. So... Oh, yeah, well, I reckon we might be, we might just make it. Ah, yes, we had just enough. Well, actually, we had plenty. <laughs> but I'll make two uh, for the next factory as well. Okay, and here is where we actually use the shard. So we might do the, uh, the shadow creatures, the abyssal craft ones to start with. Now... Hang on, which order was it? So the shard goes... Now let's get that off. Let's put the shard there, like that. And then we put that up there and that one. And then... Hammer, bam. Ooh, okay. Mob, shadow creature, tier one. Okay, right. So hopefully now, uh, we've got everything we need. Well, we kind of don't, but... Okay. So it doesn't put the actual controller down, does it? Okay, so uh, the controller looked like on the picture that the controller was between those two. Yeah, I'd say so, like there. Okay, good. So, but, uh, but, 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 this does need power and things, so we haven't got those things organised. So let's go back to here and find what we need for the power how to build ba -ba -ba, right click you can do that 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 once the factory is in place you can validate it by using the yah hammer ah sneak right click on the air with the yah hammer to change modes you can use it so yeah but the things we have forgotten <laughs> are the like the power cells and things but uh, let's grab the hammer uh, loop. validating no power cell no importer no exporter yeah, expected controller at minus 708, 67, minus 708, 67, 3, 2, 60. Oh, guess what? <laughs> uh, let's break that and put it there. That's where that one needed to go. There? Okay. But yes, so we need the power cell importer exporter. Okay, so there's the basic, advanced, and premium so they have different energy storage and different transfer of RF per tick. We'll just make the basic, get that done. Okay, the importer, done. And the exporter, done. Done. Oh, uh, there. <laughs> yeah, the old shift click uh, takes whatever block is there, I think. So we are going to need power. Uh, so we've got an energy cube here that's full, so we'll grab that just for the moment, grab the spare there. So the importer, exporter and power cell need to be placed uh, underneath the factory within 10 blocks of it. So we can probably just put it down here somewhere, hopefully just down here. Uh, so we have the uh, exporter, then the importer. And then the power cell, like so. Okay, good. Uh, and then we can just put down chests, I think, next to the uh, next to the bits there, with the power. Uh, we're going to need some cables, probably, aren't we? Can I just put it there? Maybe. Uh, we might need to just verify the. Uh, whoop. There we go. Good. 
uh, the factory again with our hammer. Bang! No importer, no exporter. Oh, uh, no power cell. Right, one, two. One, two. Does it have to be directly under which bit? <laughs> uh, I'll shift it over. How about now? Uh, maybe. Does it need... No blocks under it. Uh, there. And there. Whoops! <laughs> Broke the wrong thing. Uh, here we go. Uh, whoop. There. Right. Okay. How about that? Let's see if that's happy. We'll figure it out in the end. Uh, right. Huh. How about I read it close? The remote structure must be located at most 10 blocks directly below the heart. Okay, the heart is that one. You know what? I think we had it there first. We've got it there now. I think it's meant to be there. How about now? Hey, found power cell, found importer, found valid tier one factory. Okay, except I didn't hook up the power. <laughs> there we go. Okay, you, we want you side uh, energy, and uh, we want discharge there. Uh, we want to have you discharging. Are you discharging? Oh, he's going down. That's for sure. And he's going up. Now, he doesn't have a GUI, but he does come up in the one probe there in the top left. The power level. Good. Okay. Good, good, good. Uh, right. So, are you actually running? Oh, it is. So, the run probe has all the information we need. 1, 3, 5, 11. So, state on shadow creatures. Sneak for more info. I'm sneaking. It's not giving me any more info. <laughs> uh huh. Well, that's good. So we're getting drops from the exporter. Now, some mobs you actually need to to put items in through the importer. I don't think we need to for this, but the exporter is getting shadow fragments. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. Well, there you go, guys. We've got a uh, we've got a mob factory and uh we don't even need <laughs> To have mobs actually spawning, which is really good, much better for servers. I think this would be a good one to have on your uh, on your multiplayer worlds, that's for sure. Okay, cool. Now there are upgrades, of course. There's a rate one, two, three, uh, looting. Oh yeah, you can up to the looting XP. Oh, yeah, can get XP, huh? Hmm. Mass upgrade. Wonder what that one does. Decapitate. Oh, you can probably get heads for that. I gather. Efficiency. Blood magic, oh yeah, so there's special uh, add-ons for blood magic and evil craft, which I don't think we got in this pack. Uh, so, yeah, so there are upgrades we could do as well. Cool. Hmm, excellent. Uh, but that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We got our factory going, so that's good. Uh, I was going to go back to Ob's World's a, and spin the wheel. We're due for a new dimension, aren't we, guys? It's been a while since we've been to a new dimension. So, uh, next at the start of next episode, we'll go back to Ob's Worlds A, spin the wheel, and head to a new dimension. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you then. Bye!